Hey guys, it's Takumo here, the massive hypocrite. So, in case any of you didn't see my very first commentary, I said I wouldn't be uploading content from major shooter franchises like Call of Duty and Battlefield 3. So here I am, bringing you Battlefield 3. Uh, the main reason I was never intending to upload this was because I was never even intending to buy this game. I was not a fan of the idea of having to install Origin, or a fan of having to use Battle Log, or any of that when I first heard about it. I thought that if I was ever going to get this game, it would be for PS3, and I never I decided not to tr even do that purely because I didn't really want to be limited in the way the PS3's multiplayer would be compared to, well, I know the PC's version would be like. Anyway, so here's just a bit of gameplay of me using the assault kit. I'm going around mostly just defibrillating a bunch of people. It's chaos in this map. We're playing Operation Metro, um, Conquest Large, 64 player. And yeah, it's complete chaos. We have this front line between the B and C points. We're at the ticket hall holding that off as the Russians and we've got Americans trying to attack us from the seaside. That by the seaside, yep. And uh, there we go. We've got a lot of explosions and a lot of people being shot. And there I go, I get killed right there, but that's okay, I do get it up again. I get revived here. I like the fact that in this game you can actually just choose whether you want to accept the revival or let yourself get lost. Which is good if you realize you're being defibbed in a really bad location. Um, I think here I'm about to make a bit of a comment about Call of Duty's so-called community. I have never been a fan of the people that seem to play that game, especially on the consoles. I hear terrible stories about those people. Anyway, um, we're just running around. I'm using the assault kit with the very first weapon you unlock. I think it's the AEK-971. Uh, I just unlocked the foregrip for it, which is great because that means I can use that in conjunction with the heavy barrel and it makes it a quite a powerful weapon at higher ranges and that's very important in battlefield games because a lot of high range combat does happen. People say a sniper isn't a valuable asset to a team, don't be so sure about that. Anyway, here we go, medical efficiency ribbon, lots of those get given out to me in this game and that was a stupid mistake jumping into that stairwell. I pretty much deserve it. Anyway, as you can see, I'm top of my squad there, playing the assault, doing the defibs. That's pretty much where all my points are coming from. I, I do have more deaths than kills. That isn't a great thing, but in Battlefield 3, it's not too important. It's all about playing your objective and winning, as you can see. This isn't starting from the beginning of the game, as you can tell by the fact that we already had points. And as you can see, the tickets are dwindling. This was a 1,000 ticket game, I believe, and American Russians are down to 826. The Americans are down to 539 there, so they're really struggling for tickets, as you can see. On the minimap bottom left, absolute chaos going on. It's unbelievable how much carnage there is. Everything's destroyed. There's shrapnel everywhere. It's unbelievable. It is noisy. It is loud. Oh, there is shouting. There are explosions. There is gunfire. It is crazy, and that's one of the things I love about this game. It is organized chaos. It may seem like chaos. There may be explosions going on everywhere, but it all has a purpose. Call of Duty to me is just complete mayhem. It is uncontrolled and untamed and not very good. Whereas this is organized chaos and it's brilliant for that. As you can see, I'm fourth place on my team. I have a lower score. I have a better score than my American counterpart. I'm doing quite well here. This is my second day of playing the game, uh, so it's not huge. This was probably the last game I played on this day. This was a Sunday evening. Getting to be quite late. This was around 8.30 p.m. and that's quite late for me on a Sunday because I'm generally quite tired on the weekends. I have an exhausting week, even though I don't do much. And Oh, there we go. Enemy MAB. A little recon drone always causing a bit of a trouble. Likes to stir things up a bit. And as you can see, I destroy it, but I let myself get my guard down. And as you can see, that's trying to take my position, our position. I think round about here is where we actually lose our point and it becomes a bit of a problem. I'm not sure if we actually ever regained this point. I never stayed round to the end of this match because it went on for so long. We started with a thousand tickets. I've been pl I played half of the round before and I played over half the round here, so it's complete, complete chaos. As you can see, this minimap in the bottom left is completely 
completely, uh, it's just, I don't know how to describe it right now. It's, it's beyond words. It really is. I'm running off trying to defib. Nope, he's not there anymore. Okay, get that guy. Yes, got him. Savior. Savior Ribbon, go. Reload, go. Med pack, go. Moving. Keep going, keep going. Assault rifle ribbon, yay. Do I, do I take this route? Defib, do I take the risk? Do I take the risk? No, no, no. Stay back, stay back. Oh, enemy bait. Nope. Don't notice it. What, 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 what's going on here? I had, I have no idea what's going on here. And defib. And get shot. Yet again, that's another huge mistake that gets being that gets made all the time in this game, and it always gets made in Bad Company 2. It's just one of those things that happens. You go into defib something, you end up being shot yourself. I mean, if you if you see a medic, or in this case in Battlefield 3, you see an assault, you see a guy, he's calm, he's defib you, you're standing up and you're okay. Try and pick up his kit and try and defib him and swap switch roles. Go for it. It doesn't matter what they've got, just try and keep those tickets conserved. Conserving your tickets is just as important as dwindling the enemy's tickets. That's why I'm dropping a health pack here, trying to regen my health. I know there's absolute mayhem waiting just around all those corners and under the stairwell. The whole building looks like it should be falling in if it weren't for the fact that this is Metro and that just wouldn't work. But, you know, absolute mayhem here and it's, it's loud and it's bright and that's one thing I love about this. It really does immerse you in a way that allows me to play for much longer than I can on most other games. Most other games I struggle to play for more than an hour at a time maybe. This game I can play for a good two or three hours straight. The only games that I find that I can play for longer than that straight are things like a new Action Clank game. I absolutely love the series and a new one of those will get me hooked for hours straight except for all for one. Bit disappointed by that. It was great. It's good for what it is but on your own it isn't worth playing to be honest. Yeah, that guy just proning down on that stairway with his tor with his legs inside the wall. Shooting off his LMG, trying to suppress our team and try and get a few kills on the way. You can see the map in the, on the right-hand side. Skull icons everywhere. They've got one point, and they're just trying to keep advancing up. And obviously our point, they're closer to our point than they are to their point, so we're at a bit of a disadvantage. But we have a strategic location where we have the high ground. We can throw grenades down there, we can shoot down there, we can get our defibs going. It's it's a much more advantageous point of view from the situation. You can see, and we've lost the point here, we're in a bit of trouble. So I'm going to deploy out at the cafe. Here we go, at the cafe, outside, in the sunshine, enjoying some nice fresh air. And we get better get running inside here. I don't know if the video is linked for you guys, but it's certainly linked for me doing this commentary. Squad respawn ribbon, that's great. Get more squ squad respawns going. I don't know if I'm talking too quickly for you. Please let me know if this is too quick. I just feel like this game being constant action, constant drama, constant explosions really needs constant commentary, constant mentions of things, and constant talking. I just This game gives me a huge buzz, huge amount of energy, and makes me rush in and want to do something. I've had a bad day. This game can really make it better. And that's how it seems to me. Anyway, taken out by the M249, not too happy about that. Yet again, another LMG. I think this might even be the same guy as before. I'm three of I'm three and two over him, so that's not too bad. At least I'm doing more to him. And yeah, spawn and here rockets going right over my head. That that was that was a scary moment there. Blurred vision. That that can become quite pain. And smoke and flashing. This bit this this bit's really crazy. I can't believe this this was great. Oh, guy, defib, go. Let's stay down. Oh, and defib. Go. Come on. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. Health kit. Health kit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do something. Okay. I'm, I might be needed somewhere else. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Move. 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 Move around. No nope, way. I might be needed here. No. I don't know what I'm doing here. What am I doing anymore? And I'm dead again. So anyway, that is my first bit of Battlefield 3 commentary. I hope you enjoyed it all. And I will be seeing you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.